fall, such a beautiful time of year with changing leaves, spooky season, but also molting. But don't worry, I am here to help you and your fluffy friend survive the dreaded shedding season. Hello buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon's bun mom, and today I am going to help you survive this year's molting season. Every year, about twice a year in the fall and in the spring, your rabbit is going to go through a molt, which means they're pretty much going to shed all of their fur while simultaneously their new fur is growing in. It can be very, very overwhelming for the rabbit and the rabbit owner. Once your rabbit reaches adulthood, this shedding just becomes overwhelming. They are dumping fur in mass quantities during a molt. They'll have funny lines on their backs. When you pet your rabbit, clumps of fur will come out. You'll find fur scattered throughout the home. It's just a mess, but also if your rabbit is anything like cinnamon, molting can cause a lot of GI issues as well. Cinnabon is a very sensitive rabbit, so every single season during her molt, she will usually go into GI stasis because she just gets so much fur stuck in her tummy. So I like to consider myself a little bit of a fur in the tummy expert because it is the main thing that Cinnabon and I battle. So today I'm going to give you the three things that you really need to pay attention to during molting season to keep your rabbit healthy, to keep their coat looking nice and shiny, and just to keep you calm because it can be very stressful and just gross. So molting season is all about your rabbit shedding their fur away, but their fur is not the only thing you need to pay attention to. During molting season, you need to pay attention to your rabbit's coat, their diet, and also their bowel movements. Okay, so when I brush Cinnabon, I always brush her on my kitchen table, but because they have the little fur on their fluffy paws, I lay a towel down. And I actually lay this towel on top of my placemat just like for a little extra friction for her. So she has something she can grab onto, but just lay a towel down, it's fine. This is just my extra safe approach. And of course I have my handy dandy brush here, ready to go. Now I guess we just need to get the little fluffy monster, she's gonna hate me. Now the reason I put Cinnabon on a table, it's because she's less likely to run away. This little princess does not like to be brushed at all, but she is too scared to jump off the table. It's high enough where she's not gonna jump. And honestly, when she's on a table, she behaves really well. But if I were to brush her on the ground, she would just scamper away very quickly. So when Cinnabon's molting, if I brush her like every day, I'll spend like 15, 20 minutes brushing her. And you wanna start from the tip of their nose all the way down their back and really just focus on areas where you see there's a lot of shedding. Like you can even see right here, she has a nice line. Oh, Cinnabon, you moved. Oh yeah, here you go. You can kind of see on her side here, we have some shed lines. So that's kind of where a lot of fur is gonna be coming out. So I'll spend more time on that area, but we're gonna brush every single part of this tiny little muffin. So I guess let's get started. You're gonna wanna get yourself a really good brush. My absolute favorite brush is the Fur Buster Comb that you can get on Amazon or from Small Bet Select, but this thing really does the trick. This little booty is where all of the big shedding always happens. I find so many little fluffs down here. Oh, you even found a little poop. <laughs> Gross in a bun. Oh, that's being such a good girl. You're so good. I'm so sorry. I know that you're plotting my demise right now, but you're being so well behaved. As far as their coat goes, you're gonna wanna brush your rabbit a lot. Okay, little lady, it's time for your least favorite part. I know. Boop, boop, boop. The booty, look at that butt. Oh, there's some fluffies down there that gotta get all cleaned. But when she is shedding, I am brushing her almost every single day because if not, she is just ingesting so much fur. It's good for today, little muffin. I know, you're so good. When it comes to your rabbit's diet, your rabbit is going to consume some fur. It just happens when they're grooming themselves. But the best thing to keep that fur moving along and to prevent hairballs is to really have them focus on the fiber in their diet. And the fiber in their diet is, of course, their hay. 
Now your rabbit should always be eating a ton of hay, but during molting season, I will really up the ante. I am sure that Cinnabon's hay is always filled. I check it in the morning and I check it at night. If it ever seems empty, I'm adding more hay. I also lower the amount of food that I'm giving Cinnabon outside of her hay. Not by a lot, but that means if you typically give your rabbit two big handfuls of lettuce for their salad, maybe try giving your rabbit a handful and a half. I typically give Cinnabon anywhere from a third of a quarter cup to a half of a quarter cup of pellets, but I lower that amount even more during molting season because all that's doing is encouraging your rabbit to eat more hay because they're gonna be a little bit hungrier. During molting season, I really stay away from sugar or any types of treats that just aren't benefiting Cinnabon at all. Really the only treat I give Cinnabon during molting season is dandelion root because that actually is good for digestion. There are also daily vitamins that you can give your rabbit that oxbow cells. There are two different types that I would recommend for molting season and you can choose which one you want. There's a digestive biscuit and there's a skin and coat biscuit. The last thing I do with Cinnabon's diet is I give her a probiotic once a week. The probiotic I feed is called Benebac Pro, but I give that to her once a week. I just put it on her morning vitamin and she'll eat it right up. And that is just another thing that helps her gut. Speaking of your rabbit's gut, you are going to want to pay extra close attention to their poop. During molting season, you're going to find a lot of those strings of pearls that you might hear bunny owners talk about, which is just when your rabbit's poop is attached to one another via fur. Now you're going to find these in your rabbit's litter box. That's gonna happen during molting season because they're consuming fur. But if you're finding a lot of those in your rabbit's litter box, that is a sign to you as their owner to up your brushing. So just keeping an eye on that poop is just a great reminder for you of, are you actually brushing your rabbit enough their poop is gonna tell the story. Those are my tips and tricks for molting season. Ugh, it is a pain, but trust me, you're gonna get through it. It is one of the joys of rabbit ownership, but I am right there with you and I hope that these tips help you out. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in our next one. Bye, buns.